talent is like a car. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. So in order for the car to move, it needs gas, an engine, a motor. Oh, you know, you need the little stuff like that. A filter. So if you don't have no gas in, 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 in the car, the car not going to move. The talent not going to move if you don't put no gas into it. You did the same. You got to keep the maintenance mm. on your way. <laughs> Doctors get rich off the sick. Lawyers get rich off the crooks. Some niggas get rich off a of brick. Some chicks get rich off their looks. The judge get rich, you get booked. The jail get rich off your books. The city get rich off folks. I know a nigga named Rich that got rich off dope. Trying to get the hood rich, but they was rich with hope. Or hope to be hood rich, but that ain't rich, that's true. To a nigga that's real rich, but that's rich and poor. Ain't no in between rich to wealthy folks. It's just super extreme rich and wealthy folks. Fewer homes get rich off rich. Kill us, kill us, kill us, kill us, I've met Brock when he was about 13. And he's been with me ever since. I show him the ins and outs. Basically, uh, how to survive out here in these streets, man. But other than that, uh, Brock pretty cool. He handled himself good. I'ma build my own right aid on more and then top of hockey. The and then I'm just rocking. Forfeit. If you see my face in the stocking, then it's past 12 o'clock and then I'm broke in my pockets. Yeah, I can show you how to add, but learn how to subtract. You can say life is fucked up, but you'll learn how to adapt. What it's gonna be, two quarters all rat. Right. Fourth quarter fouled out, or OT trying to get back. I'm trying to get big. VLD trying to get fat. Minus the bed. I need a bed when I eat that. Throwing threats high and seek where your seeds at. This is where it goes down. That's uh, where I started at. You know. Let me smoke with you, Unc. What's up, Unc? What's up, It's um, my old team right with here. I'm cool. What's, What's up, Unc? We doing the interview, John, on like the, uh, like a 24-7 for the battle. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, you just get speak highly of me. You can cuss me the fuck out the normal oh, shit. I ain't gonna do shit, man. <laughs> fuck all that shit. <laughs> you did the same. My, my sport was football. I had a dribble in basketball. You know, it was really decent. It was, everything was solid. It's like a little boy would be doing. It wasn't until I was about uh, maybe, maybe 12, 13, when my cousin, my big cousin, and I got a lot of female cousins in my family, but a little bit for the, for the, um, for the males, I don't know if y'all familiar with Most Wanted. You dig what I'm saying? But it was three of them before. It was Montana, it was Bubonic, and it was Mr. Montana and my cousin. You dig what I'm saying? Which was the best one out of there, and it's not to be challenged. So I know that's your, I know that's your way and all that stairs. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> that's my blood. So so I used to watch Montana come up. He used to rock that shit at the family reunions and shit. And I used to just be like, yo, I want to be like that. I admire this shit. You did the saying, and that made me start. So when I started, I never stopped. Frank knows like I'm a reefer. Gats glass, niggas screaming Eureka. Sandings and reefer, hookers and beepers. Dust was cheaper, 40s and liters of. Wide out his rolls, off of the meter. Devil life, devil diva. One wife, a few cheerleaders, a couple kids, and I'm only a Libra. Triple beam, be the skit now. Fish scale, skit now. Vock man, gelling on the streets, I don't bit now. Still making sit nails. Loading up the glit knot, hollow heads, count the shit nails. Need a diz, I can take the slugs out of skit now. Mom yelling shit, no, her baby got hit off. He ain't even get to take the nine off his hip off. Hit him up nice shit, see how I dipped off. Acting like he had a tool playing in his trick balls. Why you want to act to a dude to let the fifth fall? Cause I be looking at the world through my fear view. Just the part where I bring the pain. And then I make it rain when I talk about how it came. And what's so fast, y'all niggas know the game. And if you don't, it came back again. They came back again, I copped again and stacked again. Knocks on my back, I gotta run the lap to win. But ain't no winning in this game, it's only nine innings. Four quarters, no timeouts or overtime minutes. You gotta stay consistent. Keep your eyes on the rooftop from a distance. Cause if you're big, then that jab ain't sunny listings. It's the best of business. The lyrical athlete, man, this project was real special for me, man. 
right then and there. That's when I really, um, I was mentally damaged. I thought of myself as Kobe, lyrically, you know, for everything that he has accomplished in his career. I felt as though, as far as the analogy, I felt as though I did that uh, lyrically in my career. This was lyrical athlete, so this whole project was basically, uh, it wasn't based on just uh, athleticism, and the metaphors wasn't just off of just the NBA and NFL stuff. It was metaphors of how I was an athlete in my craft, you know, and it was given um, uplifting skills and talents on how you could be an athlete in your craft or whatever it is that you do, whether it's you go to work every day, but you could be the point guard of your job, even if you mopping floors or janitor, it don't matter. You could be an athlete at anything that it is you could do. Mm -hmm. This particular project right here, this is what my squad, the original uh, New Laker Entertainment right here. Sorry about everything in front of it, but it's organic. You know, you ain't gonna get it no more related than this. New Laker Entertainment, this is the company that we got right now. My OG right now, you know, I appreciate him, man, for helping me, uh, 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 you know, help this whole New Laker project come off the ground. You know, with this project, you know, it was more so of, um, of course, I'm already booming, but I want to help the people that's around me boom too, so they can help me boom boom because they was the future. You get saying on this particular project, it was real good. Also, it was about us on the beat. The name of it was like "Who Beat Is This?" because um, we was paying homage to the, like the original beats and like the the old school hip hop beats. We was paying homage to them, but when we do a new a new school beat, we basically were showing the new era, the new generation that we can do what y'all do too. Now for this particular uh this particular album, the uh the end of the movie, a lot of people is familiar with this. This was two thousand and I wanna say six is when I wrote the theme of it, the end of the movie. It's a song called End of the Movie that I based the whole project about the end of the movie. So it was the end for me at this particular point. Before he went back to jail, I told that boy, listen, these motherfuckers ain't for me. And uh he played with him. And that's how he went back. Yeah, I told him, man, they don't play. I mean, in five minutes, mean five minutes. Not nigga minutes. Nigga minutes is half hour. And uh, that's what happened, man. You get caught up in some dumb shit. Yeah. That happens. My first experience was basically, um, it was really different because I always, not always, but a lot of times, I go, go to jail, you know, go to the precinct, go to the county, you know, go back to the county, come home, make bail. This particular time, you know, I had, um, I had, um, lost my, uh, I had lost my case, you know, and it was like, it was funky, because it was, it was like, damn, I, I thought I had it beat, everything was beat, then, um, you know, the shit was like, I go down. Oh, well, you know, that was his first major job. So, you know, we got to, <laughs> believe me, we got away with a lot more than what we got caught for. So I know that G and him respected what he had to sit down for compared to what he could have sat down for. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I walk in the courtroom. I'm in the motherfucking courtroom. And, and motherfucking, uh, I walk out of my job. Oh, I'm ready to go to jail. Don't lock me up. Ignorant, dumb, or not. Judge, like, where's his lawyer? You sit him down. He got the. Because you gotta wait before it's your turn to get locked up in a jail. Like, yo, you gotta see me. Okay, so, 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 so. Oh, you go in the jail. Now you're done. You don't go in there and it's not your turn. That's how I went in that jail, man. You know, and uh, I don't remember this, but the stories that I get from my wife and my mom was how they was crying. When he first got signed, and he was surprised himself, man. That's when he first started changing, you know. Yeah, in other words, leave the streets alone and go ahead and make that money the right way. Uh, and he disappeared for a couple of years. He was in and out, but I mean, he was still making that music. It's been a while. You don't want to be on the side, rappers clapping at you. No more kidnappings. Everybody asking what happened to you. <laughs> Boy, you're the Born on the same soil as a boom meal. Well, he got coke and boil your careers. Turmoil, and I work on your fears. Sherm oil, you got me stuck in first gear. Oh, you get worse here? Started off with my first pill, my first beer, my first kid. 
Joey just had six cars deep. Jones, they pulled up six, seven cars deep on TM. Talking about, we just want to cipher. We want to cipher. Vot looked at us. He already knew it was hitting for. You pull up six, seven cars deep. Six niggas with time rap talking about you want to cipher. So they start rapping. You felt, nigga, and I ain't playing with children. Say my name in your rap. Get slung from a building, my hunger is building, and I'm ripping you to pieces. Huh? Motherfucker, is you raid me, Jesus? Keep it real with I don't show niggas mercy. I show niggas shots like work. I show bitches dick. I show niggas numbers like jerseys. Talk big guns. Why don't disturb me? And why I had to say that? Niggas trying to Revert me, does it burn me? And man, you ain't beginning to hurt me. I had right and wrongs mixed up, and right and wrong was either raw or cooked the bricks up. Neighbors brought the dicks up, my wife bringing all these chicks up. Savage the slogan, smoke weed, spill the beer after cracking it open. Niggas told me I would hustle. I said, nigga, you joking? But I did a lot of dirt way before I was voting. Now dig this, I leave your shirt blown open, red soaking, dot on your head the size of an adult token. But when you peep it. All they raps is aimed towards Vop. They looking at Vop. They like in his face. And they all, he playing it cool. Hitting them off one by one. Next thing you know, there's only two of them rapping. Joey Jahad, D. Jones. So they going for hours. The cops come, shut us down. We had to go up to the playground. E. Ness, everybody start coming out. Words start getting out like, yo, I don't know who Vop. That's before we knew who Joey was. They like, I don't know who Vop battling, but he, they going at it. So we get to the playground, it's only Vok and Joey to head. They rapping for like six hours. Vok getting them out of here, wham, wham. Head getting him out of here, wham, wham. Next thing you know, Head start losing a little, little tempo. He like, he like, Vok, let's start over. It's all these new people up here. Uh, they ain't hear the raps we were spitting on your block on TM. Vok like, if you don't got no more raps, it's over. I'm not starting over. It's going to be the last time. Last rhyme, last rhyme, last bit of wet, I'ma roll up in this last dime, the last dime, 17 in the joint, you the first eight and last nine, but this is my last time writing about these bad times, mink coats, fast cars, skyboxes, halftime, but this is my last time giving y'all these fast rhymes, four and a half, right there, eight, a little bit of bacon, the past nine. However good you is, times ten, I'm that live. I'm that guy, that boy of four or five. Ten zannies, five fours, I'm going die. Yeah, Dipping my dip, like sipping my six, five. Drinking my drink, on off the lick, I'm high. But that was my last time with a pie trying to stay alive. How many times I gotta tell you this is the last times? Like the haze with a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. I seen better days, married the game like Coretta King. I sold it all from dust to methamphetamines. Mm -hmm. With no <laughs> goals, I had a better dream. Yeah. <laughs> Wrapped them things up in Vaseline. <laughs> I think shotgun shit gonna actually get a lot of exposure on our level. On our level, because uh, we've been doing this so long. I mean, on their level, they just battle. It's just like a fight. But on our level, we actually uh, we perform music. We write from the heart, man. To bring some loving here today, yeah. Father, Father, we don't need to. Escalate. Like he can make you feel what he's saying, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you paint a picture with what he's saying. It's like, and I come from the streets and was running around doing some of the same sort of shit like him. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I can really see what he's saying. And it was just like, that shit did a lot for me. This mama said, and mama said, there'll be days like this, but she ain't tell me nothing about the nights. And mama said if I behave like this, that she gon' end up writing me a kite. Right. She said that kite might tell me how my daughter's doing and tell me everything is all right. Right. But it's not. But it's Three nice. hots and a cock massage and a chi chi. I think I'm gonna use spicy rice mm. or tater tots. Mm. Mama spoke of the days where the rain ain't stopped on your last four and a half and eight drop. Then you put four back on it and it ain't locked. Then you see the man in the mirror and it ain't vock. I never forget this night, but I write might change your life like a suicide note, psych. Mm. But mama said them school days like Spike gonna go so fast like the speed of light. <laughs> but mama ain't say that there'll be days like nights when the stars like me that in the day shine bright and I illuminate the night with a smile so out of sight. You see it through the silhouette and squint your eyes real tight, tight. No. 
all about the battle. That's why I'm for lyrics. I want to hear lyrics. I don't want that mumble jumbo. Y'all might know Vodka as a lyric. Oh, he don't battle. He got songs. He got this. Y'all gave him time. You don't give nobody like him time to write for nobody. Y'all tripping, tripping. And I watch all the URLs, smacks and all that. And I fuck with Shotgun. You good. You cool. But you, this is a different freezing cool, cool, if you understand. Y'all gave him time and... <laughs> you got no business lying to you. We gonna tell you exactly what time it is. Or from what we see, from our point of view. Yeah. Yeah, a bean. My vocals are strong, ring like a 38 long. How could something that feel this right turn out this wrong? It's too deep. You can't put a hand on me like soccer balls. You don't know me yet, Vaca, Lil Alcohol, slash dope dealer, sold more drugs than Tylenol. They say I'm violent, y'all, and they can't wait until my talent fall. And if it do, I'm going right back to bouncing raw. A rat head nigga, we don't even pronounce the law. Like when you locked and you hate the walls. You caught that bitch cheating, but it ain't. I like I love this beat, but I hate your song. Hate the fact that y'all breathing. Love that y'all dying. Hate the fact y'all try to stop me, but love that y'all trying. Would love it if you had ice. Hate it because you lying. Listen to the way you talk about what you buying. And you walking and me crazy is what you driving. With two ropes and a bitch, don't think I'm playing challenge. Coming from the streets of Philly, being a rap artist, you know, of talent, I come from competitors. The name of the game was about winning. It wasn't really about uh, who got the most money, who got the most bitches, who got the most fame. It was about uh, who knew how to bring that shit and when to bring it and how to bring it, lyrically. Like, who, who was that nigga? Like, who took that talk?